shit, is this thing on? Every single day Happy Monday, my fabbies. How was your weekend? Mine was fantastic. Even got in a cocktail and a half. Let's just say that. And I'm not feeling guilty about that. I enjoyed them. So today, what are we going to do today? Obviously, I'm in my kitchen. So I was thinking you've all heard of what's in my bag. And no, you don't need to know what's in my bag. Nobody does. That's my friends. They go through my bag all the time and <laughs> let's just say, yeah, they've never been the same. My friends have never been the same. So I wanted to come up with a segment called what's in my air fryer because I am learning that there are a ton of recipes out there that are how to make vegetables taste good because vegetables don't taste good by themselves but if you spruce them up they're bearable i'm learning that finally what are we gonna make today well i got a new cookbook this is now my air fryer cookbook that i'm gonna go to, uh, to. And we're gonna make Caesar whole cauliflower. All right, you ready for this, kids? What does that look like? Does that not look fantastic? That does not look like cauliflower to me. Oh, I need to get my eyes examined again. So this is what we're gonna be needing. Obviously, I had a cauliflower. Now this was the biggest one they had at my grocery store. It's kind of puny. We're gonna need garlic, some Parmesan cheese, olive oil, anchovies. Yes, do not be afraid of these. This is just flavor in a can. We've got Dijon mustard, red wine vinegar, and Worcestershire sauce. And obviously don't forget your coffee. So I've just added uh, three tablespoons of olive oil. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. And most of us have that around the house. It's not coming out very fast. One. Now, red wine vinegar, just any sort of vinegar, especially balsamic vinegar, oh my gosh, that has been like my go-to for flavor. Oh, so good. So next we're gonna add two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Can anybody ever say that correctly? So we're gonna two tablespoons, one, two, and then two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. And all I had was this. So I figured, eh do what we got you know what i like this i'm just gonna add it all done we need one tablespoon of dijon mustard and i really like the chunky stuff because it adds texture and i love texture and then two tablespoons of so two tablespoons Four garlic cloves. All right, well, there we go. I don't know if that's four garlic cloves, but I don't think that's gonna matter too much. And the next thing we're gonna add are gonna be these anchovies. So, and you can get the, these at your local grocery store. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these all chopped up. Now, here are the anchovies that I just chopped up. Now, the great thing is about anchovies is I know it, it freaked me out the first time uh, I used anchovies, but don't be afraid of them. They, they, they disappear once you heat them up and it does add this whole other layer of flavor that is to die for. And 
if you didn't know already, anchovies is in all of your Caesar salad dressing. So now we have our cauliflower. Now, <laughs> your grocery store probably has fresher produce than I have out here in the sticks of Wyoming. So this is the best I could do. This is the freshest one I could find. So yeah, there's that. But we need to cut this sucker up and get it ready for the air fryer. So the next step was to make an X in the bottom here that goes right through the core to open that up so we can get the flavor. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in another bowl and pour half of our mi mixture over it. And we just wanna make sure that we're coating everything, but we wanna save half of this to put it over at the end. So, the only way to do this is to make sure I'm just getting in there, using my hands. And then we're gonna let this sucker sit it said for 10 to 30 minutes. So I guess the longer you let it sit, the longer and the more flavorful it will be. So I am going to just let this sit and marinate. And when we get back, we're gonna throw this sucker in the air fryer. So here we are, the beautiful air fryer with paper towel back here. So I <laughs> like to take Again, just some olive oil spray, spray it around in there. And then we're gonna take our cauliflower brain, cause that's what it looks like. Whoops, there we go. And now we're gonna put it in. And we're going to set it for 340, um, 340 at 20 minutes. 20 minutes okay so now we're just gonna sit and wait and see how this whole thing is gonna turn out but here's a little tip before you start your air fryer make sure it's plugged in I gotta tell you what guys, it is smelling really good in here. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous because I don't like hot cauliflower. I haven't tried cauliflower rice yet because I'm like, gross. I know it looks like rice, but it's cauliflower. <sighs> so we'll see. Let me tell you something, whether I like it or not, my skin's gonna look great. You guys need to know that I'm not a real expert on air fryers. I'm learning. So I just looked at it. That looks kind of burnt, but I'm gonna go take this off and then finish the steps because we're supposed to put the rest of the sauce on and then let it go for five more minutes at 400 degrees. So I hope this works. She dinged. Here we go. Who's ready for this? Well, what do you think? Does it look like this? Kinda, but that picture is way better than this. It still kinda looks like, let's get it in a bowl, shall we? Okay. There she is. Now, the moment of truth. Am I going to like it? Now, I don't even know how to cut into this thing. I'll be honest, it looks like a brain with, <sighs> that my dog did something on top of it. So I'm just gonna cut into it here, right? There it is. And here we go. Mm. 
Okay. It's not terrible. It's not my favorite. It tastes like cauliflower, but the stuff on top of it is what makes it good and bearable. I'm going in for a second bite. Okay. It's growing on me. It's growing on me. I could eat this. I could eat it. Because I'm learning how to eat vegetables. I'm learning how to change my taste buds. That's not going to happen overnight because is this my favorite? No. But hopefully one day it might. So, okay, my fabbies. This actually was a very interesting video for me. And you know what? Like I said, I'm trying these things, new things out, seeing how they're going to go. This one turned out okay. I still have to learn how to gauge my air fryer a little bit, but that'll come too. So I hope you guys got something out of it. Um, I'll put uh, the name of the book um, or the cookbook um, down in my, my um, description down there. Um, so I'm not getting sponsored by it. I bought it with my own money on Instagram. So, but it is got a lot of really good stuff in there. So I want to thank you all for stopping by and for joining me on this cooking show of mine of, again, what's in my air fryer. So Thursday's gonna be right around the corner and you know what that means. That's gonna be way in Thursday. I hit my first marker last week, which is oh, so exciting, but you know what? Got a long way to go. So we'll see how much I lost. Did I gain? Did I stay the same? We'll find out on Thursday. So remember, if you are liking these videos, make sure you're uh, subscribing and also follow me on Instagram at Holy Crap I'm Fat. So with that, have a great week and we'll see you on Thursday.